Good morning, everyone, or as we should say, almost good afternoon, everyone. We continue today in the learning of the Iger Saramban. And he writes a very beautiful idea that will bring us into Shabbos Kodesh. When a person does everything that we've said up until this point, as we'll discuss, what is going to be the great benefit? Tishra Alecha Ruach Hashchina, the Divine Presence is going to rest upon you. Not a bad deal to be a person that can walk around in this world and wherever they go, whether they're in their car, they're walking down the street, they're in the Beis HaKnesis in a shul and they're davening, or they're in a yeshiva and they're learning, or they're standing under the chuppah getting married or in the, in the uh, hospital room where their wife is having a child, or they're playing with their children on the floor, or they're in a classroom in college and they are taking a final exam. Wherever they are, if a person will follow the directives of the Ramban up until this point, the bonus that you're going to receive is Tishra Alecha Ruach Hashchino, the Divine Presence, Hashem Himself, is going to rest upon you. The Ziv Kvaida, the splendor of His glory, will also in, will be the person will be enraptured by that. They will be surrounded by that. And then he writes, most fascinatingly, the Chaye Oilam Haba, a person in this world will have a, a glimpse, or they'll have one foot in the Oilam Haba, in the life that is going to exist in the world to come. How does a person in this world live the life of the world to come? The life of the world to come is completely Ruchni, completely spiritual. It's a time when all of the mundane matters of this world drop before them as meaningless and the real true desires of one's soul unites with its maker, with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We end up immersing ourselves in spiritual goals. We end up spending our hours and our days and our weeks and our months and our years engaged in the study of Torah, in the heartfelt prayers, in cleaving to our maker, cleaving to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. When a person tries their best in this world, as the Ramban says, by controlling themselves, working on their midas, their character traits, remaining humble, soft-spoken, gentle to others, not allowing themselves to fly off the handle with anger and with, with being a difficult person for others to deal with, feeling the awe, the presence, the reverence of Hashem watching over them at any moment of the day, and therefore giving the proper cover, the respect to others as well, such a person lives with Shechina, divine presence in this world. The splendor and the glory of the Shechina, of the godliness of the king of the universe, will envelop him here in this world. And even while you are a physical being, because of your attachment to Hashem and His Torah and the mitzvahs and the midas, the character traits that are on the highest level of refinement, which is the true spiritual nobility of a person, you are walking in this world, yet your neshama, your soul, it communes with the chayi oilam haba, with the life of the world to come, because you are engaged in spiritual pursuits in a closeness to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that perhaps the average mortal human being is not on their, it's not within their realm of thinking and their existence. And therefore, as we are coming into the holy day of Shabbos, which we know is called in the words of Chazal, our sages, Me'ein Olam Haba. It's a taste, it's a glimpse into the world to come, that means that if we will follow the directives of the Ramban, as we come into this glorious day of Shabbos, of the Shabbat, which is a, rapidly approaching us, we will be able to connect not only with the Chai Olam Haba, with the world to come, but Shabbos itself will be the conduit that we need to approach that spiritual realm where we're surrounded by the Shechina, we are encrowned with the Ziv, with the splendor and the glory of Hashem, and we live a godly existence even while we're here 
on this earth. Wishing everybody a wonderful Shabbos. May it truly be me'ein oilam haba. May be a peace and a glimpse into the world to come, which is waiting peacefully for each and every one of us after 120 years of effort and hard work in the realm of Avedis Hashem in this world. Good Shabbos and Shabbat Shalom.